Mama, Tony Ahead has been sleeping with every Tom Harry and Dick on campus. In the post that she got pregnant, and in a bid to cover her atrocities, she went to go have an abortion, which nearly killed her. Tony, Tony, is that true? You're crying. So it's true. Jehovah, Tony, you have killed me. Hey! I don't even know how I'm going to put up with this shit. This thing has lost me. I get that sense. Tony, how could you? How could you do this to me? After all I've done for you, Tony. Tony, I make sure you lack nothing in this house. You chose to put me back in this manner. Hey! Tonya, why? Tonya, why? Just be able to get married and have your own child. Because hey. that soul of that innocent child you feed it will continue to torment the rest of your life. Hey. I don't know why you cannot be chased and just like every other girl. Hey. Hey. I cannot open my legs and spray my legs for every man. Oh man, that man that married you, I pity him because he may never know your past. Yeah, oh, to be a wife. <laughs> Why have you decided to bring this shame to me, Tony? Why? Why? Oh God. As for me, I will a vow. I will remain a virgin till I get married. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Thank you. 
Take it easy, Pico. Take it easy on me. You always say that. Love making should be calm and not rough. What is rough about this? Victoria, please, let's make this night a beautiful one. With this your style, this your pattern of uh, love making. Louis, please. I am not a prostitute. I'm just going to spread my legs beneath my husband. That's all. It goes beyond that, Victoria. I mean, for how long will I have to convince your rigid heart? With this your manner of jumping up and down just, just to make love. Louis, I'm not a prostitute. I am a believer. And as a believer, if we must do this, it has to be done in a more decent and orderly manner. For Christ's sake, we are married. We are husband and wife. There are no hard and fast rules about this. It is not a forbidden fruit, Victoria. However, we do it, it's acceptable. Please, don't even try to make a force out of this. Moist, if we must do this, it has to be done with some morals. Victoria, are you mutilated? What's that question? How could you even imagine that? Oh, moment! I so much desire you. I do not deny me of my conjugal rights, Victoria. Scream! No! Yeah! I don't feel you, Victoria. Hey! I cannot believe you have so much enthusiasm for the, for, the, for, the, for the things of the flesh. Of course, I am enthusiastic about my wife. I decide that my wife submits to me. Even the Bible says that you should submit to me in all things which includes your body. Being totally submissive does not include submitting your body in an unethical manner. You're just using our legal law to, 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 to satisfy your manner of loss. God have mercy. I can't stand this. Just like the day will come before the night That makes the world go round There is no love when there's so much judgment Guilt and so much pain All we need do is to build each other Build each other All we need do is to come together to all the married people, so much judgment brings us down. To all the married people, hate and quarrels do no good. To all the married people, so much judgment brings us down. To all the married people, hate and quarrels do no good. I missed you! How was the contest? Good. But, Amy, I'm not nude. What sort of bizarre question is that? Don't you know that wearing your body like this is wrong and unholy? What if I had walked in with my friend and they see you bearing your body like this? Don't you know it's going to create Great evil, evil, evil thoughts in their mind. A man with so much courtesy would not bump in with friends without notifying his wife first. I just needed to look good and beautiful for my husband. Why don't you like good things? And what is good from this? You know, tell me, what is good about this? I just wanted to look sexy for you. My dear works, woman. Ah. I thought we've ruled out using that kind of word, sexy. There you go again. What is wrong with you only than that? Come home, spend time with family and satisfy me the right way? No. Let me look hot and sexy for you? No. What is it that you want? Stop it. Stop it. I'm decent. The words you're using is... Uh, what I want from you is decency. I don't want to see you look like this again. I don't want to see you bear your body again. Please. Thou art only and sanctified husband of Tonya. Hey! You, you obviously love to see me in hijab or covered up. Okay. As a as a pillar who spoils the salvation of her husband, I can make this work best. 
if looking good for you and wanting you to satisfy me the right way is wrong? Because you cannot be going to church, it's already late. Why do you say that? You're dressing. What is wrong with the one dressed? I took my time to look this good for you, and all I get is a disapproving remark. Honey, listen to me. I expected to come to a, to a romantic and beautiful wife. What's difficult in dressing well for me? I want to see you sexually dressed. For me, just for me. In our privacy. When we have visitors, you can dress this way. Or probably when we're going to church or an occasion or something. Expecting you to come to bed in a strapless revealing way. They are not this. Why are you all covered up? It's our bedtime for goodness sakes. Louis. So? So because it's our bedtime, I should deliberately appear in a way that will give you rights to this your appeal. What is wrong with stimulating me? Making me to have the urge to hold you in my arms. That is not the ultimate in this marriage. So seriously, eh? Boys, giving rise to the lust of the flesh is a sin. We are married. I want to make love to my wife. Don't you get it? Let me tell you. You really need to work on yourself. If you want, if you want us to strengthen our bond. simple, David. Look, it's way beyond intimacy. It's sex. Don't, don't use that word. Be cautious of your words. We are believers and not sex hawkers. Let it should be told, David. Make me feel 
like a woman. I am not satisfied, David. I am not. Enough of this argument. Enough. See, I am the man here. And whatsoever I desire, you should obey. Let us do things right. For the reason of procreation. You just want to use the advantage of being married to satisfy your, to fulfill your lust? So what happens to us after three kids, David? What happens? What? Does that mean you won't desire me anymore? You won't touch me? Oh, it's all about the kids. David, after the kids, I have me as a woman. My husband has to fulfill this need. It's not just about the kids, David. Can't you see that?
shorts, tights, sample shorts, no wings. And everything you have for your life. And you know what this was. You know. So why do you stop trying? I expected a walk of gratitude for being caring and not this attitude. What is wrong with? Hello, Mom. Hello, my own Sonia. How are you? I am fine, Mom. How are you doing? I am fine. And you, how's your family? Fine, Mom. God is in control. Yes, my God is always in control. I just spoke to your sister, Victoria, now. And she sounded just fine. Okay. I should go there and visit soon. I hope you went to church. Yes, I just stepped in now. I just stepped in now and said to call my daughters to hear from them. <laughs> Please, my regards to your family. Yes, mommy. And thank you of yourself too, okay? Jesus loves me. Used for AI procedures. AI procedures? And what's that? Artificial insemination. You know, given the process, you and I will hear medically fit and does not require any physical examination. Now, to the terms of use, the insertion of your sperm should be done within 20 minutes. Enough of that rubbish. What an infuriating discuss. <laughs> British English, American English wouldn't justify your school of only thoughts. Do you know what this means? How can we leave the natural course when both of us know that we are fit? Or are you insinuating I develop low spend count? The same natural course you tag a same. When your fit partner demands fulfillment, what happens? It's either your business or something gets in the way of our romantic endeavors. Isn't this abusive? Weird. A slap on my face. Just maybe. I am your wife. A submissive one who wants to help her husband. Christian life. I want your Christian life to be improved. Yes, it. Twenty minutes. Don't forget. Trying to convince me, even as you look over the subject. I am fine. Thank you. Okay. okay. 
So how is your daughter and your husband? They are doing great. How is your husband? He's fine. Mm -hmm. You said something about going to visit mom. Yes. Is everything okay? Oh, no. Not at all. It's been a while and uh, I would want to shop for some nice things for her. Mm. I don't know if you would want to join me. Mm. Yes. Um, at least I will like to send some things to her too. Thing. Where's my common little rubbish? Percy! Percy! Yes, ma'am. Who is this thing? And who are all these people? Where's my compound this dirty? Uh, Madam, that Pekino, my younger sister Pekino. And this one, my daughter. Uh, I tell you, I can say they won't visit me and they don't come. Daughter? Yes. How old is she? Now 14 years. Why is she married so early? No, madam, you never marry. Only only Bella Gate. One boy is pregnant on our street. And one man was in there. I never see her again. God have mercy. Why do teenagers of this age lack chastity? You don't have moral ethics. You bring that to the family. Oga, Oga say he wants to see him. I bring her. I don't know whether I don't tell you. And why does he want to see her anyways? Now you see? You see what happens when people indulge in vices? No, madam, don't be like that. Don't be like that. I'm sorry if I need to talk. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. That was wrong. How can you just pass a baby from the teenager just like that? So she's just a disgrace. Do you know how bad she will be feeling right now? Who is that? So, what is bad saying the truth? Huh? That was a good one. Very good. Do not jump into conclusions so fast and so easy. But I'm not surprised because people don't like hearing the truth, including you. For the record, things that I carry my perfumes around. Stop! Stop! Did you see what you carried? Yes. Did you see that you carried? Don't start with me. Oh, so that when you tell me it's a good boy, you help me. Don't bother me with this body, please. Just like the day will come before the night That makes the world go round There is no love when there's so much judgment Guilt and so much pain All we need to do is to build each other Build each other All we need to do is to come together To all the married people Victoria don't you think you are being selective about children? Well, you carry the ones that look neat and tidy, and yet you despise the dirty looking ones. Tonya, please, is it because of that thing I saw in my house? Huh? Me, I cannot have such a messy child as mine. Let's go.
Anna. What you happen now? Which one will come sit down under the sun? Uh, what you happen? Okay, now because the way my madam take talk to you today. I want for you. See, make I tell you, you see, some people don't know how to talk to human beings like themselves. We call you a consider on that song. Yeah? Oh, yeah, come, come, make a carry you go, make you go sleep. Hmm? Oh, you go to the Okay. I don't want to see that woman again. I don't want to see her. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no guys, man. Eh? Make you not cry, here. Yeah? No cry. My daughter, no cry, okay? I yeah, stand up. You want to No. No. Instead of them to render help unconditionally, they would choose, rather choose to take advantage of the person. You know, it baffles me that a lot of people today in our society, instead of them to render help unconditionally, they would rather choose to take advantage of those people. Do you know what I called you a strong man? I thought you were a strong woman because you took a very bold step. You stood for what is right at the age of 14. You did not allow yourself to be pushed into doing the wrong thing. Ordinarily, girls of age would easily fall for an abortion. As far as I'm concerned, abortion is the same thing as murder. It's the same as murder. I don't care the coloration people give it. Rest assured, you're going to deliver, you're going to have a safe delivery. And you're going to be a proud mother in no time. Do not let anybody put you down. By words or by actions, you are going to achieve whatever thing you have set out to achieve in life. If you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, an actor, whatever it is you want to be, you can still make it in life. Okay? I want you to love yourself more than ever. Self-esteem. a peaceful conversation. I am meant to discuss this with you, but your attitude wouldn't let me bring it up. It is called discipline, not an attitude. What is wrong with trying to help a pregnant teenager? And why are you so interested in that case? Eh? Why? Do you know if person wants to use it and work up financially, knowing how good you are? What's from your mouth at your own will? Isn't bringing your toe part of being disciplined? I speak the truth in boldness, words. I am disturbing. I will just put out and see what your eyes not trash. You've been obsessed to me. I'm not being any such. But why are you so fascinated? Do you not hold that for your results? Yes! God have mercy on you too.
especially when they didn't have anyone to help them. Did you do it because you saw her coming? I don't see any help. And my papa and my aunt will work as a clean. For the night that makes the world go round, there is no love when there's so much. Ma? If you are not my little cousin, I will not drive you home with me. Mother, is this what you have told you to? I don't understand. Do you know what you look like in those shadows? I'm not nude, ma. So you must go completely naked for everybody to know they are not putting on the proper clothes. Every decent husband should behave. 
Why are you pretending? Eh? As if you did not see how that man came down and opened the door for his wife. Why are you not like that? What way? So I can see it is already. What is that difficult? Eh? When you are your so-called gentleman. What is that difficult? Every man knows what he does and the reason for which he does. Maurice, that is principle. The Bible said it. Let your yes be your yes and let your no be your no. Remember the Bible says, whosoever thinketh, he standeth, take heed, lest he fall. Ah, let me hear what do you know about the Bible? Eh? You that fear to tell people the truth. Speaking the truth does not involve condemning people at the first sight. <laughs> See, me, I am a God's pleaser, not of man. I am a true Christian. Let people say that when they see the difference in you. department and I will report you. And if you come to school still dressed like this, this nonsense you call clothes, I will disgrace you in public and open everything that you want them to see. much in my personal life and jumps into conclusion so fast. permission to, to, to render her in bed? Thank you. 
you were not sleeping in the house. If not for Tonya who called to say you were in her house. Why did you do that? That is the only place you go to. Where your wrongdoings will be concealed. I'm not surprised. Because people that are in darkness like to go to where their sins will be concealed. The Holy Bible says so. Stop mixing up the Bible with your personal philosophy. Don't quote the Bible out of context. She couldn't stand your harsh post of damnation which made her run to someone who could comfort her with love. Go to your room. Hey! Go on. What's the name of that? If you think you are the head of this house, then stop her. Go to your room right now. That is the only thing you do. Take sides with evil. So they can deceive and justify yourself with your cheerful. Go take off the bulk of mud in your eyes before you blindly lead yourself into the ditch. Go dress up like an old man that you are. If you want me, you tell her to go out with you. Stop deceiving yourself. Don't worry, I'll make some moves for you. Vicky, Vicky, I'll see you later. Lord, I have come again. I have brought this seed to you. I know this is one seed out of the seeds that I've sown. I want the fruit of the womb. I want my own child again. I have pleaded and I have pleaded and I have asked you this. And I know you will not turn your back for anything. I have prayed and asked you for this. Because you say we should ask and it shall be given unto us. You love your daughter. 
and you shall do the greatest thing that she has ever asked. Father Lord, accept this seed. Accept it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Jesus Christ. May your name be praised. Amen. Amen. What are you doing there? What are you doing there? You can't talk. for me to tell you to enter the car. Yeah? Remember, we have to go for your medical checkup. That won't be necessary anymore. As you can see, I'm strong. The prayers hit me last night. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, good luck with your exams. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Victoria, what have you done? Did 
Did you actually do that for me? Why did you? You went to the church and made a pledge of 1.5 million naira per year. Did you discuss that? Oh, that. Yes, I did it. Since you lack the logic to make proper decisions. <sighs> Do you know the implication of what you have done, Victoria? Do you know? What have I done? I have not done anything wrong. So stop backing like a dog. You will not push me, Victoria. You will not push me. Otherwise, I will lose it. You've lost it a long time ago from the moment you shot me out of the decisions. Let me go! So that you will find a more profitable atmosphere to exude your cheerfulness. Yes. Sonia, there is no God. God has blessed you with a wonderful home. God has blessed you with a wonderful husband and a child. And soon you will have another. A thousand women out there would want to be in your shoes. What's the problem? I know that now. Then if you know, why are you complaining? Is it turn? No, it isn't. But he doesn't understand me. My needs, my feelings. What? Tonya, I understand you. I understand perfectly well. I'm a winner, but I wouldn't want you to focus on that. Focus instead on your child. Yes, take care of her, and soon your husband will come to feel the same. Mom, in six years, when will that be? For God's sake, Tonya, don't be in a haste to make conclusions. If your husband say. Dress decently, cover yourself, please do it. Yes, I'm your mother and I will not lead you astray. The Bible says we should be submissive to our husbands. Submissive in everything we do. In all things, Sonia. In all things. I don't see a reason why you should not live in peace with your husband just because he asks you to dress decently. Please, Tonya, obey him. In obeying your husband, you indirectly call the shots. That is, if you know how to use your power as a woman. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I would want to go and visit your sister, Victoria. You know, it's been 10 years she got married and she did not have any child. It bothers me a lot. So I would want you to come into our house so that we can pray together as a family. It's a good idea. But, no. I'd rather stay home and pray for her. It sounds so appalling. It's all like you. I know how it sounds, mother. <laughs> Don't forget her attitude so easily. What do you mean? Mother, I don't expect you to forget her attitude so fast. She is still the same person. God be with her. You know, this house is not a barrier. I can still pray for her from here. You know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, fine. If you say you're not going with me, it's okay. I'll go alone.
Are you feeling feverish? No, not at all. Okay, you went out and you're just coming in. No, been home all day. What are you doing? Stop. Then how come you're wearing this long dress? It's too long. Yeah. Honey, it feels really good to be decent. You know, I mean... I say it is 10 years of marriage or 10 years of misery. tells me you will look this way, leaving all your body this bare. I will not agree. Why? Your official assignment clothing is even more of a hijab than mine. Ah, Miss Morris, where are you going to? Ah, I have a lecture with my students. They're waiting for me. Are you going to the staff room? Yes. Okay, I'll see you. All right. Bye. I chose that as my official outfit, but on a date with my husband, even at home, I look my best to look beautiful and charming for him, just for his appreciation and for him alone. It's 14 years of our marriage. After four kids, we still look as if it's just yesterday. So what are you talking about? Why do you look so surprised, Victoria? Doesn't your husband love you when you look so flattering and captivating? My hubby loves you when I look so sexy for him, and I can go to any extreme. Any lengths to satisfy his taste. So she's good, bro. Please go take care of you. Right, and yeah. Come on, happy place. Yeah, bye. bye. Favorite meal, eh? We will stop having boring moments in our privacy. I promise. Don't you think 10 years is long enough to remove the flesh and pleasures? Always. A genuine understanding comes from God. And my time intimacy is based on love, not lust. Eh? I'm sorry. Please. You didn't give me the submission to speak to. Please come in. Oh, could this be the reason why you set up a baby room? And I will just stay 
see that you are just having faith that I'm going to conceive very soon. Oh, my husband, please. I am ready to work on my past mistakes. Eh? And make this our union worthwhile. I suddenly lost my feelings towards you. Don't you really know what you can make out of a man if you are intimate with him? We never shared any. Anything in words and deeds. All I got was arrogance and condemnation for every single thing I did. I should seek your consent to let the whole child stay under my roof. Listen to me. If you dare disrupt their peace, my baby's peace and that of my nanny, then you will be dead. Going to see you again. Next session. I want to spend the next vacation with Auntie Heading now. Fight. 
thought that he's had this affair, he's had this child the, the, the past two, three years. All this one I've just been fooled. There's nothing to fight or struggle over. Your own is the one thing to do. That is not going to change. Except me. Do you know what I don't understand? Honestly, right now, I just want to leave him and his new home and his new life. For you to reciprocate all the love and appreciation you have received in this marriage. I don't understand. Learn to love. Be submissive. Be obliging. Go oh, and bring that child to the country. Go love and call her like your own child. Honestly, I can't believe your words and compassion will be this useful to me someday. You unconsciously gave me the permission to be the woman that I am today by the grace of God. All will be fine, sister. Okay? Thank you, sister. Thank you. Dearest. I need my hobby back. Please, come back to me. I need your warmth. Your geniality. Please. Those were pleasures of the flesh. Things I did to fulfill my... the lust of the flesh. Especially to men to end their probation. Henceforth, I repent. I now live as a God pleaser. Not a God pleaser. No, dearest. Don't escape back at me. I really leave my heart and I am broken. I can't stand your approach. Just the way I couldn't, I felt when I still had a burning desire to fulfill the lust of my flesh in my life. You're not seeing me. You're driving me crazy, please. This is rather strange. I don't think you could be this enthusiastic about the things of other things that is leaving you this broken.
you ready to meet with them? Dearest, I am overly saturated by all this. And I do not want to get into more details to make things drastic or even worse. I just want to deal with the already existing hotel. There is no hotel. So stop sounding that way. She's the woman, right? And you want her to move into the house. Victoria, hold your home and stop sounding pessimistic. Let me get the cats on the table for you. Christine needed to go for surgery. And Annabelle was to go take care of him. So I thought it wise to adopt Stephanie and be her guardian while they were away. Does that make sense to you? Does that allay your fears? I also want to let you know that Kwesi, Annabelle and um, Stephanie will be returning to Ghana where they will live permanently in no time. Isn't it true, Mr. Kwesi? Yeah, no, I'm not true. No, I'm not true. 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 i Then my daughter here, one boy who pregnant up our streets, carry the leg. You have to try to go. Thank God for that. Because of him, I made the dead alive. So now you make the country. He was one of the dead in the treatment. That's why they see my daughter and my granddaughter. So you have to tell me. Mr. Pussy is okay. Um, honey, what do you have to say? Annabelle here is a very brilliant woman and I'm definitely sure she can take good care of Stephanie. Oh. Mr. Kwesi, well, you still have a wonderful home. We also do. <laughs> Enough of the talk. Please, let's deal with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was the very first time I stayed with the baby. It was a show. It was quite pleasant. You know? Maybe it's a to see me. Uh, yes. I mean, why don't you dress into something very sexy? Sexy? Yeah. Is that not prohibited in this house? 
And you see, um, it's true that I always insist that you dress decently for me. But I do not understand your angle to it, which is that you always dress to entice me and me alone. You see, I, will, I was consumed by jealousy. I do not know what I was doing. And I have missed every aspect of our intimacy. I want my wife back the way she is. I need you back. I've missed you. I quit. <laughs> How did it go? Thank you, Jesus. Nothing is impossible. 